Hi, this is the part two series of Google API authentication and accessing the Google resources via Power Automate. In my previous video, I have shown how to obtain the authorization code. If you haven't seen the video, please have a look. I have given the link under the video description. In this video, we will have a look at how to obtain access token and refresh token. Access token will expire after a certain time and refresh tokens never expire. The refresh token will expire when the user revokes access to your application. So it's important to note your refresh token, client ID and client secret for accessing Google resources via API. Later, final part three of the video, I will show you how to use refresh, how to use refresh token to access Google API services using Power Automate. Okay, let's have a look at getting the access token and refresh token. For this, we need the code, which is authentication code we got from our earlier video, where I post uh, the uh, get code URL in the browser, then manually authenticate using the Google email and password. After that, I got the code from the browser. I will quickly show you now the, those steps. If you want the, if you want to know the detailed step by step, please see my part one video. So uh, this is a uh, this is for the refresh. Uh, so the request token and then user authenticating it manually. Then we are getting the authorization code. Okay. So for that, remember I used uh, the client uh, client ID, which is here. And then uh, we need the URL, then the scope. Uh, there are certain parameters also there. Okay, so to get the code, uh, in my first video, I shown the, uh, you know, the postman where I put the parameters and the, and the client ID. So the client ID is here and the redirect URI, which is, uh, you know, the Power Automate redirect URI. So this is the redirect URI if you're using Power Automate. So later down the line, I'm going to use the Power Automate. Uh, that's where I'm going to use the refresh token and uh, all these parameters so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to copy this and then go into the browser again press enter see that's all the indication code is asking so remember that's the diagram um, see that request token now and use the login and consent it's all in my first video so i'm just refreshing this now yeah okay now i'm going to authenticate click on advanced okay go and click on the trust one okay the it's warning that it is going to access this resource remember the scope and all i mentioned so that's all comes uh, part of that you want to access the google account all that then continue okay now we got the code now okay so what i did then is i copied this and um, yeah, copy it in a notepad so this is this is the mechanism we did in the first video to get the code. So here code equals for slash this. Also one thing, a very important thing is if you see, uh, you know, for uh, percentage two uh, f, change that to for slash. Okay, otherwise it won't work um, because the hest is a HTTP encoded URL that is. Okay, so that's a code we need to use and so we got the code and next uh, going back to the postman to access the token so this is the this is where we are going to get the token so here we need to execute a post operation uh, to access uh, that resource so that's the url i'll post everything in my video description then the code so that's the code we got so let me go and change that code now here so that's a code okay then the client id so the client id uh, you know we got that from our um, the console 
console.cloud.google.com that's a, cl a client id we are using yeah and then the client secret so uh, the secret key uh, you know once you uh, once you build that um, initial um, screen um, initial uh, the setup it will show you the secret and um, if you want to reset you can reset it so that means that will change the secret key again so i'm going to use the same secret key and then um, the redirect uri which is uh, you know the power automate platform i'm going to use so i'm going to set to that again here and then the grant type is uh, authorization code okay and so what happens if i click on send right so here uh, we have got the access token see it's expires in 3599 so it's 3600 uh, seconds it's an hour so it only lasts for an hour only okay after an hour this uh, will expire this access token will expire and, and remember i mentioned earlier we need to use the refresh token to uh, get the new token always okay that's the mechanism we need to use so using this we can access the google resources but my preference is i'm going to always use my refresh token yeah in power automate using uh, the refresh token then the client id and the client secret so what we got now here is uh, let's go back here and uh, copy everything here right so that's the client id and the client secret we can't use that code anymore that code uh, you know once it generate this if you're going to re-execute it it uh, it won't work um again from the same session yeah that's what i found out okay so client id client secret then i need this info as well here not all of them but some of the info i need okay so the key info what we need for the next stage here is we need the client id we got this client secret the access token we can use it but i'm not really interested in that now i'm interested in the refresh token here so i'm going to copy this refresh token as well here okay so to access the google um, resource mainly you need these three elements now client id client secret and refresh token store this in a you know secured place and then you can use this in power automate to access the resource that is my part three video series so there is one important thing you need to remember here is um, you know the refresh token is the key to use after the initial access token is expired uh, so that's the key thing you need to remember here so if i execute again here watch this time is going to get changed oh no um, i got the invalid um, uh, invalid grant that because that's what i mentioned so if i execute uh, again this uh, this code i can't use this for some reason i need to generate a new code again so that doesn't matter i got all the you know uh, main elements i want for the next stage okay so in this video part two uh, video i have shown how to get the access token and the refresh token so these are the three key elements we need for accessing the google um, resources i have found uh, you know some other articles which people asking here like um you know if there is any way without a browser prompt can you use it so the first stage you know i i copied that in the browser uh, and getting the code so it's trying to you know can we automate can you automate that process so there are uh, there is some good answer here in stack overflow regarding that uh, here it says to use google authentication without browser prompt you have to use a token the token is returned when first attempt the scopes and after that you can keep that token and send it back to google api for use refresh token is permanent for the user here we go so that's the key here but the um, the refresh token uh, you know can get changed as well so there is another article another answer here in stack overflow saying that um the google auth server is issued the refresh tokens never expire that's the whole point of the refresh tokens the refresh token will expire uh, when the user revokes access to your application so um, instead of using a long lasting token um, typically good for a year the server can issue a short lived access token 
a long lived refresh token. So in short, you can refresh tokens again under the user who authorized the access token access to your application. Okay. So it's key to remember this. We need the refresh token, then the client ID and the client secret. The client ID and client secret you can get from the uh, you know the console cloud.google.com where your project your project is registered and uh, you know getting the client id and the secret key which i have shown that in my part one series of the video okay in my next video i will show you how to utilize these um, the refresh token client id client secret to access the google resource thank you for watching